My name is Derek Williams. Um, I'm an artist primarily in and from Chattanooga. I was born in Fort Oglethorpe, Georgia. I've lived in Chattanooga most of my life. I am a working illustrator. I have done intermedia work, um, including audio video design. Um, I do painting. Basically any medium that comes into my hands I work with. It. I started drawing um, like a lot of kids do when I was pretty young. I was probably about three or four years old. Um, and I did something a lot of kids don't do, which is I drew figures with volume. You know, oddly enough, I'm kind of a traditionalist. I like working in pencil and there's very little demand for pencil. So it's required that you branch out from there. I do. There are times where I do extremely minimalist work, um, relying, there's one photograph of a painting that is now downstairs, which is a single blue brush stroke. Um, and I probably feel stronger about that particular painting than I do a lot of other stuff that I've done. Because I feel like it was a single honest expression that occurred in one action. I see a lot of real estate being developed and I don't know who's going to live there. And I don't know why it's going to be attracted to these folks. And if these folks do come to Chattanooga, and they bring their money to Chattanooga, and they inflate the rents, and taxes go up, and so on and so forth, that's going to make it a lot harder for the people who already live here to survive. The artists were really starting to move out, and the big money was starting to move in. And what the artists do is they add color, they add a certain amount of stability, and they soften up some of the hardened neighborhoods because they're willing to live there and they'll have an investment in that neighborhood for a certain amount of time. And then those neighborhoods become a lot more attractive to bigger and bigger investors. And as bigger and bigger investors move in, what ends up happening is people who originally lived there can't afford to live there anymore. Um, the artists find that they can't afford to live there anymore. And I saw that culture starts to disintegrate. And it didn't surprise me a whole lot. And area gets built up and built up and built up, and people are pushed out. There have been initiatives to drive startups, to drive new tech companies and investment in tech, and you know, to try to ride this wave of technology that's changing the country and the world right now. And I don't see it working. Uh, I also think that artists should be paid for their work. I don't think that uh, artists should get their work away for free. I think that it devalues the creative environment if artists do get their work away for free. And you underwrite artists' work. You underwrite artists coming to a town to enhance the culture, to make the city attractive. You have people like Obas Garretts, who was, as far as we could tell, he was homeless. He might have lived in a shelter nearby. Spent most of his time, I think it was, on North Avenue. And what he'd do is he'd write his poems and he'd do some design work and he'd go to Kinko's and print that stuff out and hand it off to people. And even, you know, didn't require that they give him money. It's kind of like Sandy the Flower Man here in Chattanooga. I do view art as a job. There's a certain component of commitment to it. And I've seen a lot of artists step away from being creative people or being actively creative people. But I think that there is also a strong component of personal honesty that if you are a creative person, that fundamental acknowledgement is part of what drives your commitment. I see it as work in the sense that um, anything valuable, anything requiring effort, anything redeeming um, is work.